All right, hello everyone. Um, very excited to keep announcing new users to the Helium ecosystem. Um, we have a lot of people building out awesome solutions that are enabled by the network. So the, today I'm here with Manos from WeatherXM. He's gonna talk a little bit about, um, well, allowing people to earn by sharing their weather data and a little bit more than that, I'm sure, Manos. But you wanna give us a quick intro of yourself and then just what WeatherXM does, high level overview. Yeah, sure. So, uh, like you said, I'm Manos, the co-founder of uh, WeatherXM, uh, CEO as well. And um, I used to be a full-stack uh, software and hardware uh, developer. And uh, the team and myself, we have been delivering industrial IoT solutions for many years now uh, to uh, multiple customers that are weather sensitive. And... Um, Basically, we decided to um, solve a number of problems that we faced uh, during these years with this new, let's say, approach and effort that we call WeatherXM, which is a community-powered uh, weather station network that uh, rewards weather station owners and also um, provides new advanced weather services to uh, weather-sensitive enterprises. Okay. All right. And you guys are based out of Greece. Is that right? Yeah, that's true. And that's why you hear a lot of noise. Maybe I should, <laughs> I should turn this uh, window and start again or whatever. No, it's a, we're all right. I, I can't hear anything on my end. So you're good. Um, I mean, you mentioned this a little bit, but kind of talk about the solutions that WeatherXM solves for its customers. Like what was the impetus behind building the company and creating the company? Yeah. So, yeah, so we had a number of industrial customers for, for a number of years now, uh, companies like uh, in the energy space, energy utilities uh, with natural gas or electricity or uh, renewable, um, airports, uh, motorways, those kinds of customers. And, and they all had one thing in common. They are uh, sensitive to weather conditions and they, they need accurate weather data to do some kind of prediction for their own sake. And um, so when we were working with those customers, we were always trying to find more weather data. We were aggregating data from multiple sources. We had to deploy weather stations ourselves. And um, that's basically the, a, a, a recurring problem that we saw that um, we could address in, in a better way. So we saw an opportunity there to solve this problem with a with a Web3 spin uh, and a more affordable hardware and a community-owned infrastructure. Um, I think, yeah, that's how we started basically. Uh, and the, the problem, the, the, the solution basically, what we're offering today to, to customers is a more accurate uh, forecast, weather forecast that is based on weather data that don't exist in any other network uh, because they are this new network of weather stations so they are more accurate, more hyper-local weather data um, that are used to produce accurate weather forecasts. And that's one aspect of what we're doing. The other aspect is we, because of the special hardware that we use, we can provide this data on-chain for Web3 um, services or future products so they can, be, so they can utilize weather data on-chain. Gotcha. I, I think that's great. I mean, we all want more accurate weather data. We always look at our iPhone or something and see like, oh, it's supposed to rain. And then you look outside and it's sunny out or the opposite, you know. So any, anything that can give us more accurate readings, great. Um, so you guys use weather stations. Um, I see that term and I've actually had people um, internally at Helium kind of ask about what is a weather station? Like what, what are these things? You have one to show everybody here? Yeah, actually. Yeah. So... So this is our, uh, this is the weather station that we use uh, for the last couple of months. Um, we have produced uh, a thousand of those and they are being deployed worldwide. So, so our weather station, it used to be bulky and expensive and, mm -hmm. and it required a lot of manual uh, human uh, interaction. But today weather stations are just devices like this one that they have become affordable and shrinked in size because of the development in the technology, sensors, IoT, and so on. Yeah. So it's a, it's a device basically that measures atmospheric conditions such as temperature, humidity, pressure, solar radiation, uh, wind, and rain. Um, 
And um, yeah, so ours is connected uh, to the cloud using a, a gateway. So we have this M5 special hardware that uh, is used in the middle, basically. So the station connects to this and this connects to your home Wi-Fi and it's powered by USB and, and sends data. Okay. But the new version uh, that we are planning to launch uh, soon, this is the Helium version. And this one is easier and more simple than the previous one uh, in the sense that does not require a special gateway because it connects directly to the Helium network. So it's truly energy autonomous and uh, communication autonomous. Um, it has a solar panel so and, and two AA batteries. So basically it works on its own out there as long as there is uh, helium coverage. Gotcha. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. Those are much smaller than I would have thought. So that's, that's nice. I think of a weather station as like some huge, you know, bulky machine or something. Um, so talking about that one you just showed that connects to Helium, how did you guys like end up working with Helium? Like what made you choose the Helium network? So I think there is a natural fit uh, when it comes to culture and, and uh, common values between WeatherXM and, and the Helium network. We both have a goal of decentralizing things and distributing uh, value back to the community as fair as possible. And, um, and I think we both, both communities have the vision of, of operating a large uh, global infrastructure. Uh, and, uh, but there's a technical side as well. Uh, so like I mentioned before, the Wi-Fi version requires this gateway in the middle. The yeah. LoRa One version connects to uh, to the Helium network, so it's it's easier to deploy and doesn't. You don't even need to set up any uh, Wi-Fi credentials. Um, so uh, that's one aspect. The other is that the Helium network provides a very low cost uh, network infrastructure for this uh, weather data that are continuously sent over uh, to the cloud. And, um, and also Helium allows us to deploy stations in areas that we otherwise wouldn't be possible to be deployed because um, you know, the Wi-Fi restriction is one, but then uh, a cellular version of the weather station also is restricted to the cellular coverage. So Helium has this advantage that it can expand uh, the network to directions that don't even have any cellular coverage. Yeah. All right. Um, so I know you said you have about how many devices deployed so far? So, right? so far we've shipped a thousand units. Um, they are being deployed as we speak. So, uh, so there is a very active network of weather stations in our Explorer that they, uh, that new stations pop up every day. Um, we have, uh, we have already, uh, well, uh, around 4,000 people from our community have already purchased a weather station and they're waiting for it. So Got we're it. in the process of manufacturing uh, more. Mm -hmm. uh, by the way, we have a very active uh, weather and crypto enthusiast community uh, of 8,000 people um, uh, with a very diverse, let's say, background. They're not just crypto enthusiasts. They are people who appreciate uh, the utility behind uh, those kind of projects um, like ours. Um, yeah. You, do you have like a Discord community like we do yeah. that people can yeah. interact with? Yeah. All right. Yeah. And I'm, I'll get the link from you and we'll put that in the video description somewhere so people can check out the WeatherXM Discord. Um, on top of that, do you have any like major partners or anything that you're working with that you can mention right now? Yeah, sure. Um, so, yeah, so we built this, uh, the, the first version, the Wi-Fi version, we built it with M5 stack. Uh, so it's a special version of, of a hardware of theirs. And now the second uh, version of, of our hardware is built with Seed Studio, which is actually, you probably know them as SenseCap because they are yeah. also a Helium gateway manufacturer. Mm -hmm. So we are very lucky to have those partners and, and to be able to produce this hardware very quickly in large uh, quantities. 
Um, we have an awesome network of investors uh, that they complement each other on a number of different things. And all together, they bring a lot of experience in, in uh, the various aspects of our project because you know it has a lot of elements, crypto, weather, industrial, um, uh, IoT, hardware, software. So you know it's it's quite a it's quite a complicated project. Yeah. Um, and I think the most important partner though is the community that I mentioned before. <laughs> yeah. No. Absolutely. I I think we say the same thing over here at Helium too. You know. Um, well, Manos, you, I know you're going to come on the uplink in a couple of weeks, July 14th, and, you know, dive a little bit deeper into, you know, some demos, use cases, things like that. Is there anything you want to kind of tease for people? What the, can they expect a little bit, you know, get them on the edge of their seat? Yeah, well, so hopefully by then we will have uh, published a little bit more on our tokenomics. So we can uh, dive into that. We're going to discuss about tokenomics, but we can also look at the weather oracle aspect of the project, which is also another exciting, let's say, uh, opportunity and possibility there. Okay. All right. Well, um, we'll get registration up for that so people can get excited and show up and listen, li hear a little bit more about WeatherXM from you. But I just want to thank you for being on here today. And we're super excited to have WeatherXM as part of the Helium ecosystem. So thank you, Manos. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you as well.